people just throughout the week. And why is that? I, you know, it's like a sanctified nightclub, man. I just, you know, let's, let's do this. <laughs> and I'm like, let's hang out. Let's break bread together. Let's laugh. I love surrounding myself with just straight, com you know, just comedians. And I prayed that. I don't know if you know that, but I prayed that because I learned that from my pastor in Fort Lauderdale. Of all the stuff that pastors I deal with, with death and destruction and chaos and sin, I saw him. He surrounded himself with straight up comedy shows, and I prayed. And, and here you go, here you have it. You know, so. You want to come over to my house? That's fine, but bring some jokes, you know, and, and uh, lighten things up. No. In all reality, though, this is it, dude. This is the early church. They shared life together. One thing that's key about this, too, is as they shared life together, they hung out, they, they ate together, they, you know, just did life together. Don't you see Jesus making disciples in this? What did Jesus do? Man, he, he had 12 dudes just live with them. They just hung out. What do the guys do? They watched Jesus. The bulk of their training was watching, wasn't it? Jesus would share and heal and do all that stuff and these dudes would be like, man, did he really do that? They would just, they did life with Jesus. And from that, they grew. They understood the power of God. Are you sharing life together in a small group? Powerful. And finally, Search. Now this is gigantic. You look at verse 47 here, back in Acts 2, 47. It says, man, all right, these small groups were going down. This early church was, was, was going after it as they, the Spirit of God was using them all, right, in their community. They were praising God, and they, they had favor with all the people. That sounds opposite of the church to me in America today. How many of you have favor with the people? Most of it is like, dude, like, you're a Christian, like, get out of here. You want to you beat me up with your Bible, don't you? And sadly, the church is at fault for a lot of it. And let me reiterate to you that are non-church in here, forgive us as we've misrepresented Christ and told you that you're bad and that we're sweet. Listen, we're all saved by grace. I'm a stinky sinner saved by grace, and so are you. Listen, this church had favor with the people. And the Lord added to the church daily that those were being saved. And God wants to use you, man. The Bible says in Luke 19, 10, the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost. Part of our small group, we always want to have an identity of bringing people in, inviting them in. Uh, a foursome in our small group on Thursday night, as we went out and just started blessing people, a one of the four went to an establishment where we knew there were people that were struggling. I'll tell you where that is, but um, this person didn't have a struggle in that area, so they could go there. And he went, and this group went, in the spirit, looking to see the lost saved. And to invite them and practically show God's love, God's love to them. Listen, that's our heart, man. Search. Do you have a heart to just search the community and extend that love and that invitation? I've always said we need to be connectors and inviters and lovers in this church. To all of our leaders, huh? connected, inviting, being warm, being friend, let the Spirit bring people again so the Lord can add to the church daily those who are being saved. Church, Outreach, small groups. Church, outreach, small groups. Love, serve, equip. Simple. Shoot with a rifle. Let God's Spirit be your bullets. And let's see a society change. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this dream that you have placed in my heart, and I pray it would continue to marinate in all of our hearts together. We know that there's power in numbers, especially when they are all going the same way. And now we continue to ask for you to do your work. In spite of us, God, do your work. Fulfill your dream for your people. 
May it start here in our church, in our community, as we partner with other churches, and we see this community change, and we see the nation and the world change by the power of your Holy Spirit. I believe you can do it. I have no problem believing that the God who spoke the world into existence can fulfill your dream for your people. May people stop stiff-arming you, allow you in, and radically bless them. For we ask humbly, in the name of Jesus, Amen.